And a one, two, three, four. What's up, guys? Welcome to the week in review <laughs> here at Pop Culture. I am Andy, this is Bianca, and we've got an exciting episode to show you today because it's Friday, and with Friday comes an hour of fun. An hour of fun where we show you cool things and we come to the Pop Culture yeah. Warehouse and we give away some prizes. Because it's, it's Friday. Yay. yay! So the prizes we are giving away this week is this amazing Dolph Starbeam Pop and, and, this Velsa pop and 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 and, 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 and once I walk over here and, and and this amazing very blue Bruce backpack from Finding Nemo. Ooh. Fish are oh. friends, not food. Somebody's gonna be getting Lucy with Brucey later today. Oh, yes. um, <laughs> oh. uh, but you know we also give away some extra prizes each week, so stay tuned to the end of the episode in roughly one hour's time to see who's gonna win. Before that, we've got heaps to show you, so we may as well get stuck in with some lounge light, Bianca. I mean, why not? There's some really good lounge light. Look, there's always good lounge light. Um, but let's start off with, as usual, what's closest to me, this Nightmare Before Christmas all over print backpack. What's this is this? this is really, really cool. This this is a Nightmare Before Christmas backpack, Andy. Wow. And it's 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 sugar skull-esque. It's all like kind of like a sugar day of the dead kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yes. I mean, there's even a sugar Jack Skellington zipper charm right there, which is pretty cool. Glows in the dark, like I think, Bianca. Think of glows in the dark. <laughs> say I think it's so. mine, so actually. Uh, yep, yeah, let's sir. check it out. And let's see if oh, this... It does. Oh, uh, we've got the blinds are up. We've got the blinds are up, and... Oh, no. But we can do this. We can do this. We can do this because we've got batteries. We've got batteries. We've got Let's batteries. Those ones down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> batteries are gone. <laughs> no. All right. All right. Well, yeah. it does glow in the dark. Andy's right. See, look. It's glow, right there on the tab. Glows in the dark. Mm. Fluorescent. I'm not even going to try to read that. It glows in the dark. Yay. Oh, look. There we go. Spooky situations Ooh. are afoot. Hello. Check it out. It does look pretty cool. Tell you what doesn't glow in the dark, but it's still pretty cool, though. This Mickey, Minnie, and Donald and Daisy backpack. It's really, really cute. So it's just um, classic looks for all the characters and their names just kind of like autographed throughout. I, I guarantee you cool. pick that bag up. It'll definitely make your Daisy. <laughs> oh, all right, let's move on. Um, next up, we've got this really, really cool Beauty and the Beast comic kind of panels backpack, which is really unique. I haven't really seen... Beauty and the Beast as a comic before, so this is really cool. Um, you can see it a little bit better on the back. See all the panels going on, and it's got like key notes from the film and all kinds of stuff. It's nice and bright, you know. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like it too. Well, that's good. Yes, it is. Do you like this wallet? I do. Well, I like chili. I'm a really big fan of hot foods. Oh, really? And, um, there's a lot of dietary issues, but one thing I can do is put heat into it and I like putting heat into it. So I like this because I like chili. I mean, different to Mickey Mouse, uh, but he seems to like chili. So I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, he, he's definitely a spicy boy in this one. So this is meant to look like a salsa packet and there's even a little charm of a hot sauce bottle there, which is really oh, cool. Oh, Frank's, yes. <laughs> no, I think that's pretty cool because Lounge don't do a lot of charms on their wallets. So this is very cool, very unique. Pretty charming. Yeah. And speaking of Mickey and foods, we have this really cool crossbody of a caramel apple. Pay no attention to the, the gravity-defying caramel. Um, <laughs> because in a traditional caramel apple, or a caramel apple, uh, the caramel will be on the bottom of the stick, not right. on the stick end. Because someone's had to get a real sticky hand. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want that. Anyway, this is the way it's been done. <laughs> it's got um, a real like glitter. Here's what shine I like to think. Here's what I like to think. Like All right, think. what they do you think? They got the caramel right, and they walk along and they drop it, but they drop it exactly on the stick, and the stick pierces the caramel apple and uh, the apple and the caramel, and comes out on the top, uh, and that's why it's on the other side. Canon. That's canon. You can. I, I accept this theory. Also, if the stick was on the bottom of the bag, you don't want that thing jibby jabbing you into the thigh or butt yeah, area that, or whatever. Well, wherever that's I don't, I don't point out a potential design. True. I alteration mean, like <laughs> that could have. Um, yeah. So yeah. that would not. Bit orkies, right? Yeah. 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 That's fair. Here's why I think they did it, because they needed the pant buckle, and if they didn't have the pant buckle, it wouldn't look Mickey Mousey. Well, they could still fit in the, the applique, uh, mousey, if I can speak properly. They could have. Yeah. 
That's what makes it Mickey and or Minnie Mouse ears. Makes it ir irresistible. Hypothetically, that's not caramel at all. In case it's some kind of acid and it has burnt Mickey between his ears and his waist and this is all that's left. And oh. what's sticking out the top, that's what's left of his spine. Burn his mouth off and he needs a snorkel yeah. out the top of his head to breathe now. Yeah, that's how he breathes now. Breathe. That's canon. That is yeah. canon. That is actually Sponsored canon. Sponsored by Disney Plus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Let's, let's move on to another bag now. Um, so let's take a closer look at one of the prizes for this week. So this is the um, Bruce Cosplay Backpack. It is really, really cool. I love how blue it is and it kind of takes like the scene where Marlon meets Bruce and he's like really freaked out, but sheds a bit more color into it, which is kind of cool. You've got the reef all round and here's fish friendly buddies on either pocket and their slogan of fish are friends, not food. Very and, cute. And that is a prize this week. If you've just tuned in, <gasps> well, how you win a prize is you leave a comment on the feed to go in the running because Luke's watching the feed. He's picking names at random to go on the prize wheel. We spin the prize wheel at the end of the show. People win prizes. The other prizes we're giving away this week are the, uh, the Dolph Starby Simpsons Pop Culture Exclusive uh, Winter Convention uh, Exclusive Pop, as Ooh. well as the Pop Culture Winter Convention Exclusive uh, Val Sartha from Andor. Um, so, uh, at least we're coming to the feast to go on the running. We'll give away a couple other prizes as well, so stay tuned for that. But meanwhile, Bianca, we've got plenty more Loungefly. Yeah, more Loungefly. Next up, we've got this really cute, simple Lilo and Stitch bag. Well, technically, uh, Stitch and Angel bag. This is really, really cute um, because it's otherwise just a plain fashion accessory, but just a, a little hint of Stitch I mean, stitch don't love. all bags have stitches? Yes, yes they do. <laughs> you are not wrong. And, and, and this, this, this bag has a watercolour-esque stitch on it also. And Angel. It's really cute. Yeah, it is very, very cute. And it's kind of a good way to incorporate a fandom without it being kind of over, over the, the top. top. Yes. Face. Yeah. No. This, this is, is, you turn it around, not even a licensed bag anymore. No. Uh, well, it still is because the brand badge is there. But, but hey. from this distance, I can't see anything. Can't oh, see right, right, right. Anyway, nice, simple, stylish bag. Um, next up, we've got this really cool collection. I'm pretty excited about this one. This is the Schoenabog from Fantasia. So the devil, Satan. My boy. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, so not only does it glow in the dark, but it's also got applique wings and rivets so you can move the wings, which is super awesome. And it's the same on the wallet as well. That's another feature that Loungefly don't do often on their wallets. Moving up okay. Articulation. Yeah, Ooh. it is very, very cool. And on the back, we have all the little minions dancing around, just having a good old time before the church bells ring and tell them to go away. But yeah, I think this is really cool. Um, Schoenberg is considered a big part of the Dilly, uh, Disney Villains franchise, um, and you don't see him super often in stuff like this, so I'd recommend jumping on that. Next up, we have a cute Harry Potter chibi bag. There's not much to it. It's yep. just it's just Bunch Harry characters, Potter characters. Chibi styling. Uh, it's cute, it's adorable. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you're going to want to add to your collection. Absolutely. It is a really, really cute print. For some reason, it makes me hungry for choc chip cookies. Mm, it's the, Why? It's the speckling. Of I think it's the speckling it's, it's in the, the brown. Lighter, and the, yeah. lighter yeah. Uh, bag with the darker mm, detailing. Cookies. It looks good. Very hungry. Well, Very you can hungry. definitely fit some cookies in here if, like, you're you're wanting a snack on the go with your Harry Potter bag. Yeah, okay, that bag's all well and good. It's Harry Potter and that's fine, but move on to the better Harry Potter bags. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty excited <laughs> about these ones. So this is a collection based on the Monster Book of Monsters from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Um, this is the clear standout piece to me because <laughs> this is modelled like a book. It's got Yay! the tongue and everything and the teeth <laughs> and the eyes. And it's got fur, ooh, embroidery, it's got a tongue, it's Hogwarts, got everything. Uh, uh, zipper tag. Yep. Which is cool. And the book pages are all in here as well. <laughs> and um, it is a backpack. Well, I suppose you can, ca you can carry it like a book if you like. I would. It? Yeah, I would. Absolutely. Um, so you can get it like that. You can also get it in a wallet, which is really, really cool. And if you prefer something a little bit less bookish, you can get um, this one. The teeth on that one. Not a, mm. Yeah, <laughs> they do make me feel a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, you'd think it should go all the way across. I guess you can imagine like this part does, so you can pretend that's part of the teeth. 
Yeah, I suppose it's meant to, when you open it, make you feel like, oh no. Yeah, it didn't ah, feel good. Chompy, when you just chompy. Did that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll, we'll move on from those. But those are pretty cool. Um, I reckon they are some of the coolest Harry Potter um, accessories to come out from Lounge Line quite a while. So jump on those. Um, next up, we've got this Shen Chi. Now, that's an backpack. underrated Marvel movie. Of all, all the things that never really got a big fanfare or even merch push, Shang-Chi, that was a great movie. I actually haven't seen you it. You should see it. Okay. You should see it. There's, a, there's a, a, a bus fight scene on the streets of San Francisco that's one of the best action sequences in all Marvel movies Ooh, ever. Interesting. Definitely worth watching. Mm, it's a big call in. Yeah. I'm, I'm calling it. You're calling it? One of the best. Sponsored by Disney Plus. Here we go. And Watch I'm, it on Disney Plus. <laughs> and I'm calling this one of the best lounge fly bags. It is, it is really cool. There's lots of textures going on here. Um, so it just recreates um, Shang's costume and everything. Um, there is applique. There's beveling. There's embroidery. There's a zipper charm. There's just everything. This well, is really cool. Scale mail texture. Oh yeah. yeah, it is. It is very fun to touch as well. Mm -hmm. Just putting mm -hmm. that out there. Mm -hmm. So if you're a fan of Shang Chi and textured bags, check it out. This is for you. Next up, we have this Beauty and the Beast bag. This is really cool. This is based on the um, be our guest scene. And it's kind of got like a chibi-esque kind of art style to it, but there's also embroidered cakes, applique Cogsworth and everything. I think it is really, really cool. Just a really nice color scheme as well to make everything nice and bright. And I think it's pretty neat. But Andy has words about this next one. If you're a fan of Coraline and I am, you can check out my post. <laughs> it's a good poster. Uh, then you might like the other mother. Um, and Coraline and Whitey backpack, which is in a kind of a, like a vintage tattoo style. Uh, you got a lot of references to the film. You got keys. Uh, you got a little stone that's got the hole in it. You got needles, uh, buttons, mice, everything you'd want out of a uh, Coraline backpack. Really nice design. I'm a big fan. You should buy it. Pretty sweet. Hey, uh, Andy, we've got yeah. someone here asking about whether the coffin's for sale. Is the coffin for sale? Coffin's not for sale. Coffin is being repurposed very shortly for a little endeavor that we're opening at the start of next year Ooh. in July. Uh, get ready for Pop Culture Records. Um, <laughs> what? Upstairs at, at, uh, at our Ryrie Street Griffiths Bookstore store, uh, we'll soon be opening a very, very cool uh, book, record, and collectible store. Hell uh, yeah. It's a little bit more focused on. Um, Treating your eyes and your ears. Uh, so get ready for that. And that'll be a feature of that. So stay tuned. I'm but you can so go excited. into the store when it's ready and check the coffin out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? yeah. And look at it. Yeah. <laughs> and buy the things that are in it. Those who have shopped with us since the twilight years um, may recognize the coffin. It once housed um, a very uh, screen accurate paper mache Edward. Um, <laughs> so, Colin? Yeah. yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, that's the guy. So. But the question is, was it glittery? Uh, <laughs> can't recall the, the sheen on the... You've, on you've the, been in the coffin I've too. been in that coffin, Jess has been in that coffin. Um, not at the same time, but we've both been in that coffin, so... Yeah. No. Yeah. Jess was very excited to get in that coffin. Speaking of excitement, here's a, here's a, <laughs> here's a bag. <laughs> um, uh, so this Star is Fennec Wars. Shand. Yep, that's a Fennec Star Wars bag. And she is based on a Fennec box a little bit, I found out when I was writing about this bag because I always wondered that and now I have my answers. Anyway, this is based off her costume. It's really cool. I always really love the orange accents in her costume and they've really incorporated it really well into this bag. It's even got a burlap, burlap, I can't speak today, um, like texture, zipper charm, everything. It is very, very cool. And speaking of cool, we've got this awesome Demogorgon all over print backpack as well that even has an enamel zipper charm Check out of that a Demogorgon zipper charm. right there so too. Good. I really like the angular design on him. Um, I'm a big fan of that. I'm going to buy it just for that. It is really cool. I like and I it like how it's really simple. It like, looks floral. floral. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it looks, cool. um, you know, upon closer inspection, you figure out, oh yeah, it's 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 not just floral, but it looks <laughs> really pretty. Well, that's legit. I'm a big fan of this one. This is cool. It is very, very cool. So 
But you should get on that because sure. Stranger Things are definitely just flying out the door at the moment. So if you want that, the Stranger get on Thing it now. will be if that's in stock by Christmas. So um, definitely act quick. Uh, let's take a look what at next? some awesome uh, releases from this week's uh, 2022 Winter Convention exclusive. Uh, now, we're giving away surprises this week, of course. Uh, we've got these two pops that we're giving away, as well as the Bruce backpack. So leave a comment on the feed to go in the running for that. Um, but let's talk about uh, Winter Convention. Um, released to coincide with uh, CCXP in Brazil. Uh, this is a really, really good lineup. Uh, we had a couple exclusive items, uh, two of which were the, uh, the Bell Sartha from uh, Andor Pop. Uh, if you haven't seen Andor, it's the best thing that has ever come out of Star Wars. The grounded, uh, almost a World War II, um, kind of like spy thriller uh, in the Star Wars universe. And it's uh, it's incredible. Well, it's and another big call from Andy yeah, today. Best thing Star Wars has ever done. Putting it out there. And I mean that. Like a lot of the time I say best thing ever, mm. but I'm like, eh. yeah. Me and this up, one, man. I'll come with, up with a new best thing ever next week. But, yeah. but this Star Wars, that's where it ends. And Val Sartha, she's worth checking out. Sponsored by Disney. Um, <laughs> you can get them in a bundle with the other two Andor releases. Funny thing about Andor, uh, the Funko line has only been convention exclusive so far. So there are two other items. Um, there's B Emo and um, uh, Cassie and Andor, and you can get all three of those in a bundle. Um, through us, which is a good way to get them. Yeah, um, Similarly, uh, we have Dolph Starbeam, um, Kony and Jimbo Jones um, in a three-pack bundle as well. Um, or you can grab them individually, or in a pop protector. Oh. Um, which is a service we offer on pop culture exclusive items. Very but cool. uh, Dolph Starbeam, classic Simpsons bully character, and a must for any Simpsons collection. So only get it from us in Australia, so definitely jump on that. Had some anime releases that have come out of it. We've got, um, got uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Summon Skull, which is cool, nice, interesting sculpt there. Um, we've got uh, from Black Clover, we have Jack. Um, he's got some nice translucent aspects on his wrists. Um, he's reading a book. Character. There's a book in that translucent um, little thing, which I've just seen, which is cool. Um, we've got um, we've got Spinner from My Hero Academia. He's got a broom stick, I think. And um, I just see him as a hybrid of like. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yes. and Miles yeah. Morales and then other things he also. He looks very team and team. Um, and we've got um, from Bleach, we have uh, Al Cora. Close enough. No, yeah. but... <laughs> That's his name. Um, DC and Marvel. Uh, we had Hush release. Ooh. Um, That's cool. Standout character there. Shh. Andy, talk about it. Oh, you're hushing. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> uh, from Black Adam, we have Cloaked Black Adam. Um, from Justice League Comics, we have uh, Raven. From um, from uh, Marvel, uh, Marvel's Loki, we have um, President Loki uh, with Gator on his hand. Uh, and we have Spider-Man Bug Eyes Armor um, from Marvel Comics as well. Um... Let's jump over to here, Steph, because Ooh. here's the other exclusives that were released. So we had, I love that one. Um, we had a, a pop comic covers from uh, from Batman um, uh, with the Joker holding the card, and it, they've actually got a pop Batman on the card, um, whereas on the actual um, card itself, it's just regular comic Batman, which is cool. Uh, Treasure Planet, uh, Jim Hawkins. So this is the first Treasure Planet item they've received and done a pop ride with him on his um. His uh, space surfer thingamajig, um, which That's is cool. Very cool, yeah. And uh, the highlight, the standout, the sellout from the uh, the convention release was um, uh, Luffy with Thousand Sunny uh, Pop Rides uh, vinyl figure, um, which was incredibly sought after. Yeah, uh, you guys really got on that one. And uh, we sold it out. Um, so uh, unfortunately, no more of that available. Um, but, uh, you know, they did a Luffy Ship Blast convention. They've done one this convention. Maybe there'll be another one coming out. Who knows? Hopefully. Fingers crossed there is. Um, some other pop releases that have come out. We've got some special edition comic deco DC Justice League figures. So we've got Batman. I love these. Uh, we have Wonder Woman, we have Aquaman, and we have Superman. I love um, the um, cell shading. It's, on it's the, really nice. It's I, really I really, really like what they've done with the Star Wars line, and I'm happy to see they've branched down into... Um, doing the 
you know, uh, Justice League range as well. But um, adds a little extra flair to it. it. Simplifies a little bit. I think that's good for kind of the stylized form of a pop. Bianca, we've got some um, Sanrio ones here from Hello Kitty and Friends. We do. Um, and, and this they're is all... like, what, a slumber party kind of thing? Yeah. Or a unicorn thing? They're all in unicorn onesies and wow. they're all pastel. And I think it's so, so cute. So we have Karomi, Cinema Roll, um, Pacaco. I don't Pachacha, know. Pachaco, Pacaco. Pacaco. I don't know this character. We've got My Melody and, of course, Hello Kitty at the bottom as well. So wow. They're really cute. I just love those so much. Classic Disney releases from Mickey and Friends. We have some uh, some new sculpts of some classic Mickey Mouse Disney or Disney characters. So, uh, starting on this on my left, your right, we have um, we have Daisy Duck, we have Donald Duck, and we have uh, we have Dale and Chip. But I'm going to say Chip and Dale because that's really Ch -ch -ch how it's supposed anyway. to roll off your tongue. Um, we've also got uh, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Pluto, and Goofy. Um, Mickey and Friends, really cool. Um, packaging and um, yeah, awesome new sculpts of classic characters. So if they you missed all of these so the first well. time, jump on them now. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas. You might be a fan of this. You might think, hey, I've already got Nightmare Before Christmas pops. Well, do you have them as gingerbread people? Um, uh, because if you haven't bought these, then you don't. So you should. You should get them. You should definitely get them. Uh, we've got Jack Skellington. Uh, gingerbread Jack Skellington, we've got Gingerbread Oogie Boogie, we've got Gingerbread Zero, and we've got Gingerbread Sally. Oh, all stylized. All the food stuff today. Stylized <laughs> as ginger um, folk. Um, um, and uh, not edible, so don't try. Um, Disclaimer. Sure. Yep. That's, that's <laughs> legally, so we're not, <laughs> not responsible for anything you do with that now because I said it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, really, really cool pieces. And while we're on that, we may as well touch on some of the other. Night Before Christmas gingerbread items. Uh, we've got a gingerbread um, Santa Jack Skellington um, as a soda. This is the first gingerbread soda that's come out. And, oh, that's um, cool. It's really textural um, and really layered. So How do you feel about that? Because I know you have I'm, some I'm interested, strong opinions yeah, about I've got, texture. I've got like, certain things I like to touch and some <laughs> things I don't like to look at. Um, <laughs> but that that's okay. It's not really getting me too bad. And we've got plush. Did I say it's plush? We've got some plush. Um, which, there, that's okay. I can touch that. Um, big, big things. We've got big things as we well. We do have wow. big things. Um, so, okay, so this is a new line. Pop, uh, uh, deluxe pop moments. So we had some um, music themed deluxe pop moments in um, a couple weeks ago. And now I've got some movie themed deluxe pop moments that have come these in. These are cool. These are really awesome. These are dioramas um, in a pop box. Um, and I'm a big fan of what they've done. So let's look at Alf. Um, so from uh, 2003 film Alf, we have the, the Polar Bear Club. We've got the Arctic pu uh, Puffin, Mr. Narwhal, and Buddy the Elf in the scene where um, he's floating away. And uh, really dynamic. I really like the, the backgrounds in this. They're all kind of like vacuum form, kind of like um, Halloween masks. So there's different layers of depth in there without being necessarily 3D. So the, it's, um, it's adds, adds some extra elements to it without... Um, and depth being in such quite a, a shallow packaging environment, but really good. And I like how they've brought the um, the the base up to the the level of the the box packaging. Um, Absolutely, that was a good move. While like while pop comic covers are good, you kind of have to look into the box to see the, the base. Yeah, yeah. Whereas this, it just presents really nicely in the in the cardboard packaging. Yeah, they're definitely those, catering to box um, in box collectors there yeah. for sure. Having those raised elements too, and the light goes through, it catches those edges and brings out the details it's too. It's really nice. Cool. So we got Alf, um, we got Alan Clark, Audrey, and Russell from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, just about to plug the lights in, and uh, shenanigans are about to. to, oh, to awesome. do, so <laughs> look at that, and I, definitely out. my my favorite one from um, from this this Christmas movie release is of course Home Alone. Uh, you've got Ma, Harry, and Kevin. Um, in a really great uh, dynamic set that uh, features um, uh, Kevin uh, swinging the, uh, the paint can down and, um, and uh, got a little smack in the head there. Really detailed pops. They're really nicely sculpted. Uh, the way that uh, he's falling there is really great. You've even got a little tarantula up on the, um, the banister there as well. Uh, same thing, vacuum form detailing. Um, 
Hagrid's the burnt top of the head. It's I just, was going to say. It's all oh, yeah. really, really, really nicely done. Um, yes. And uh, I know there's a lot of reflection <laughs> happening at the moment, but um, if you could see it, it's, it's, uh, it's really, really good. I um, might even do a little shuffle so you can see it. I think Marv also has the um, iron burn he on his head too, which is neat. Oh, that's In his face. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, is incredible. Uh, my favorite thing about it is they've actually sculpted the rope. Um, so the, the can that Kevin's holding and the can that's uh, swinging down um, actually go all the way up to the top of the box. Um, so good. Which is nice, really nice detail. We've got a couple other um, big Funko items that come in, Bianca. We do. So we have this uh, Blink-182 Enema of the State. Um, what would you call it? Pop album? Uh, deluxe pop album. Deluxe so, pop album, that's right. Uh, so what they've done, uh, so a regular pop album would just have the, the character, single kind of like character reference um, in front of the 12 by 12 um, album artwork, but this is double the size. It actually features a little um, uh, vinyl, vinyl vinyl record. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a vinyl replica of a vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and all the pop stars in the all front. The pop, all, the, all the band um, on there as well, which is great. And so, we've got a uh, Def Leppard one as well. We've got Hysteria featuring the whole band see. and the album cover and a the vinyl, vinyl, vinyl record as well. It is. Now these, I believe, have little um, hook holes on the back so you can hang them on your wall if you didn't want to put them on a shelf. Um, which is but very cool. really um, impressive uh, displays. And if An you're impressive fan of the, hair, by the way. If you're a fan of the band, this is kind of like the perfect, kind of like one item to get. If you're going to just get one thing from a band you like, um, why not these? Absolutely. What next, Sandy? We've Let's got so much more to talk take about. Take a look at um, uh, some of the higher end pieces that have come in. So we've got a bunch of new six scale figures from, and we're starting to get these out because there are a lot of them are from a bunch of manufacturers we don't get to talk about often. Um, some of them new, some of them are just, um, you know, when we get so much size seven hot toys, things in that we're really, really keen to show you, we sometimes overlook some of these. So let's take a look at some releases from Exo 6, and these is the Star Wars line. So we've got Michael Burnham from um, Star Wars... Star Trek. Star Trek, sorry. Ugh, what am I saying? <laughs> Star Trek Discovery? Yep. Yep. Um, she's from space. She is from space. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, really good. Uh, we've got uh, Miriam vs. Spock um, uh, the original series. He looks very regal in this. Like, I'm not very familiar with Star Trek, but he just looks very it's royal. The sash. Yeah, it's the sash. Oh, I thought it was the... Um, the uh, goatee? Uh, I'm looking at the lapels as well and all the badges. It's almost like some kind of royal sergeant. That's what got me. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> very cool, though. And we've got Q from Next Gen um, down here as well. Really nicely tailored cloak. That is and hat. even like, more that's regal. That's sculpted. That's um, that's all tailored on the head as well. That's really cool. Really, really nice piece. Has all the little buttons. They're nice buttons. They are good buttons. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sure I got a bunch of those facts about Star Trek wrong. <laughs> um, I've really only seen Next Gen and Voyager, so don't criticize me if I mess that up. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> they're coming. <laughs> they're coming. <laughs> uh, if you're a fan of John Wayne, we have John Wayne. As he appeared in, um, I don't even know what Like a million mo Western yeah. movies. <laughs> John Wayne as John Wayne in everything. Yeah. yeah. He's got guns. He's got uh, whiskey. He's got a bandana. He's got a cowboy hat. Um, he's, he's got, got a great likeness. A really good likeness. Should um, definitely show off that revolver. That is sweet. That... Right. Can you get to it without knocking stuff over? Uh, so the big good thing about this, this has actually got nice magnetic base and feet. Oh. So rather, rather than opting on a figure stand that gives them a wedgie, um, they've actually done um, a really nice... Uh... <laughs> delicate, delicate <laughs> work. Um, hang on. I can get this. Because I picked this up and I was awed. I was just there we go. Hey yo. All right. Um, so, little hammer throws back, and it actually spins, and you've got little sculpted bullets in there as well. And that is some extreme detail. That's really awesome. Uh, bunch of accessories, um, really nicely tailored outfit. Um, he looks 
uh, straight out of the Wild West. Um, uh, removable jacket. He's got a he's got a martial vest you can put on him. Bunch of different looks, but yeah, really really nice dynamic figure. And this is from Infinite Statue, uh, who now refer to themselves as Infinite Statue and Collectibles because they're no longer just doing polystone pieces. They're also doing one six scale pieces. And um, if this is the quality uh, of what's to come, I'm very excited because. Uh, we have a Twin Peaks one up for pre-order from Infinite Statue, and um, <laughs> and he's a little bit of a fan. <laughs> I'm pretty keen on that one, so I'm seeing this in in the flesh. I'm I'm very excited. From three zero zero, we've got a couple season one releases of some of the most iconic TV series of recent years. So Walking Dead wrapped up last week. No more of that. Bunch of spin-offs coming, but no more of the main series. Um, so perfect timing for us to get a nice season one little throwback. Uh, Sheriff Rick Grimes, um, removable hat. Uh, he's got a jacket you can put on him. Um, he's got uh, he's got the walkie-talkie that uh, from the pilot. Uh, he says he's gonna check in with Morgan every day. And he's got um, a the sheriff badge of the infinite gun um, bag that um, uh, that makes its way through uh, most of the series. Um, and uh, all of these are individual. <laughs> Guns that you can actually put in there it's and so good. Um, zip up. Um, really, really nicely sculpted. Really nice articulation. A good likeness of um, Andrew Lincoln there as well. Um, missed opportunity though. Includes some voice effects. Well, I think Carl. a missed, oppo Carl. <laughs> missed Carl. opportunity. Carl. Um, not to do a two pack with a horse. Anyway, sorry, Eleven. <laughs> Decapitated. Oh no. Anyway, here's Eleven. Interchangeable heads. Interchangeable heads. They are. I switched <laughs> yes. this one out. So uh, she's got a nosebleed option, but she has so has um, a regular option. Obviously, well, she's got a neck bleeder too. Didn't put this Ooh. on <laughs> strong enough. So one six scale. She seems a bit tall from for um, in comparison. Like if you put it, like she's definitely smaller than Rick Grimes, but she does seem maybe a inch taller than she, she does in the show. But you know, that's just me being. Picky. <laughs> she's got um, socks, um, sneakies. She's got an ego. She's got egos. There are two egos in there. Uh, she's doing a little <laughs> brain thing. Um, removable jacket, removable dress, and it does come with the hospital gown as well, so you can create oh, that's um, cool. some like flashback things. So if you really, if you're like looking to build something a bit more um, season four inspired, uh, well, you know, all those flashbacks. Why not grab this and put her in the hospital again? Yeah, and get her in the rainbow room. Definitely do it. It'd be very, very cool. Um, so, <clears throat> last piece we got from 3-0 is this really, really awesome Court of the Dead piece. That's oh, huge. Yeah. It's still 1-6 scale, but um, I really, I don't know much about this character. I can't remember the Me character's either. name. Um, because Court of the Dead is an original IP from Sarja Collectibles, and Sarja have teamed up with 3-0 here to create um, a really, really nicely dynamic um, piece. Uh, it's huge. Uh, this guy's got three articulated arms coming out of his right shoulder. Yeah, very um, handsy. He's got a bunch of interchangeable hands and different hand sizes as well, and all the different hands have different hands you can actually put on them. Really nicely sculpted cloak and costuming. Um, all of these individual armor plates can be kind of like moved around a little bit. Um, really awesome sword with nice metallic paint detailing, and he's got his little Grim Reaper little... Scythe? Scythe yep. as well. Um, which is nice little blood stains on it. It is so cool. Very like cool. pieces like this make me really want to like learn more about the franchise and the characters and stuff like that. It's just so incredibly detailed and just really, really cool looking. It is, and there's so much care that's gone into this. You've got all this like little chain work. Um, you've got metallic detailing on, on the cloth and all the robes and it's just really impressive. Um, so if you're not familiar with Call of the Dead, I recommend looking it up. They created a whole lore around it. <clears throat> there's comic series, there's board games, there's heaps of stuff that they're, they're expanding on. Um, and they do some really, really impressive stuff in-house at Sideshow as well. So definitely check it out. But this is a really great collab with 3.0. I recommend checking it out. A couple of statue releases from si uh, Diamond uh, Select Toys. <clears throat> We've got... Um... <sighs> what trooper is this? <laughs> um, some kind of clone <laughs> trooper. Some kind of clone yeah. trooper. He's got his kills on his helmet and his arm. He's killed a lot of dudes. Sandy's gonna murder us. Forget he is. Uh, but you know what? Sandy's not here, man. 
<laughs> so that's on you, bro. Yeah. It's fine. It's a clone um, trooper. He's it's looking badass. Trooper. Really dynamic pose as well. Yeah. On weather, that face. Weather detailing. Um, Very he's got cool. a little thermal detonator. He does. He's got a little um, little blaster as well. Um, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. Another release. Uh, in the same line, we have um, Obi Wan Kenobi uh, from A New Hope, um, and uh, yeah, nicely uh, sculpted cloak um, captures the light really well. Has a nice kind of organic, flowy finish uh, to it, which is which is really good. Uh, translucent lightsaber there, yeah, really cool piece. If you put LEDs behind that, it that would, just, would look so sick, especially at night time. It would, and I, I really like when they do translucent with the lightsaber because it doesn't really need to light up to look good in a collection if you have enough light penetrating it. Absolutely, um, and kind of bringing that color out, and, and that I think looks really good and often better than it would. I'm trying to build an electronic component into it. Yeah, it's got a lot more realism. Really cool. Uh, from my studios, we have a couple 10 scale pieces. Um, we've got uh, Aquaman. Um, I think little, this is really cool. Little hook hand. Uh, this is like the dynamic deluxe piece and it's got really interesting um, uh, translucent base um, that has all these tentacles kind of like emerging from it. Um, really wonderfully sculpted. They're painted on all the little um, wave breaks there. Um, metallic details on his shoulder, on his um, his pants, um, as well as his arm, and really all his clothing has a nice metallic sheen to it. How really about those locks, though? Dynamically oh, they're sculpted, amazing. and then sculpted again, and then sculpted again because it is full, ladies. Uh, that is a head of hair, um, and uh, wow, really, really impressive. Um, really, I'm really a big fan of when I should just like bring it up and add extra layers to the base and dynamic action to it. It's really, really good. A couple more pared down pieces. Um, we've got Joker here from DC Comics. Um, with these face has been cut off and restitched, um, <laughs> which is cool. A uh, bunch of chattering teeth uh, flowing out. A little batarang on the on the base there. Um, yeah, for such a kind of compact piece, really, really detailed diorama finish. Um, finish on the diorama, which is cool. Uh, and from WandaVision, we have um, the, from the Halloween episode, we have uh, um, uh, Wanda, Maximoff, and the Vision. I love um, these. Such cool, bold costumes. Yeah. Like, which is, it, was, it, was really fun, it was fun to see them in t incorporate their comic book um, outfits in the show without kind of like, for a show that broke realism so much for them not to just be like, oh, because it wasn't really about them being superheroes, it was about them being people, so they're finding a way to incorporate that. It was nice, it was a nice touch. Absolutely, I think that's the best part of the show. Yeah. It's just less about that and more, as you say, about them. Very, very cool. Yeah. And just the way they brought these costumes into it, just so nonchalantly, it was great, yeah, it was I loved good. it. It was really good. Uh, we've got a replica. Uh, if you're playing Pokemon at the moment, you might recognize uh, the Cherish Ball. Um, this is uh, the latest one-to-one -one scale Pokeball replica from um, the One Company. Um, it's got a nice uh, LED um, base uh, that lights up when you put the ball on it. Um, and uh, you've got, if I hold that in, it'll actually glow uh, like it's catching the Pokemon, which is cool. Um, it's just nicely sculpted on around the edge, so it has kind of that look that the Cherish Ball has, um, otherwise completely red. Um, but yeah, really good. Um, I think it's got die cast metal elements to it as well. So got a good really weight to them, too, don't they? Good piece. They, they are. They're, um, it's got some yeah heftiness to it. But um, it would need to, to house a little pocket monster. That's right. There's a whole bunch of those. Isn't yeah, there? we've got Pokeball, Great Ball, got the uh, Ultra Ball, got the Master Ball. We've got the got, Friend Ball. We've got the Friendship, yeah. Uh, we've got um, the Heal Ball. Um, heaps, 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 heaps. So uh, get collecting. If you're a Pokemon fan, these are a great thing to collect. Nice um, display um, boxes that have a little ball there as well. So um, no risk of it rolling away or your dog picking it up or anything else. Um, so worth checking out. Speaking of Pokemon. We've got... Pokemon cards. <laughs> now, I haven't actually played um, Pokemon before. I, I was a Gen 1 fan, still am, so forgive me. I am not going to know too much about this. But I can tell you this comes with um, a foil promo card and a foil card as well. 
an oversized foil card, um, some booster packs, and a code card for Pokemon TCG Live. Nice. So that, that's pretty exciting. It is exciting. <laughs> but that's not all. We've also got some V-Star Premium Collections featuring Palkia and Dialga. Now, I love the way they package these so you can see everything as yeah. well, which is really cool. But these have cards, heaps of stuff. They have, pogs. Um, yeah, they got cards. They've got, yeah, pogs, as you say, booster packs, um, acrylic markers, and they've got code cards as well for nice. the same TCG line. And enamel well. pin. Can't forget the enamel pin. Oh, yeah, the enamel pins. Very, very cool. These things give my wise anxiety. There's so much going on in yeah, that There's packet. a lot of detail. And it's so uh, shiny. Cool. Minimal Very color shiny. palette as well. <laughs> all of the colors and more. <laughs> Absolutely all of them. So, cool new releases from Pokemon. Very, very cool. Forgot to mention, we have a couple sodas that um, were released this week as well. From the Winter Convention, we have uh, Lord of the Rings Arwen. There's a chase with her with a sword. Um, so there's a can. Uh, and there's Arwen. Oh, Lord of the Rings. Yay, Arwen. Um, <laughs> and the other Winter Convention uh, soda was Hawkman from the Black Adam film. Um, nice metallic finish on him. And there's a chase piece where he is doing something. I didn't see that one. Uh, and we've spoken about Jack Skellington. Last one that's come in is called the Demogorgon um, chase piece. Surprise, surprise. Uh, there's a little blah action. Oh, um, I don't like the way that's but, fun, uh, <laughs> If you want a little creepy enclosed head action, then check out him. Um, limits to 12,500 pieces, uh, only 2,000 of which would be the chase piece. So um, if you manage to get your hands on one of those, yourself, consider yourself lucky. Our chase pieces work pop culture is, we will send out the item as it is picked off the shelf in our warehouse. Uh, we don't separate them out, we just send them. And if you get the chase piece, lucky for you. If you get the regular, don't worry, you still got a really awesome collectible. I uh, can't request them, we just send them at random, and we like that because that's the way the chase program is intended. Uh, Keeps it fair for everybody. It does, it yeah. does. Uh, we have some cool new Cos Babies. Cos Babies. So from I Am Groot, we have a whole bunch of Groots, and they're super, super cute. What's really cool as well about the Cos Babies packaging is that it's so shiny, like lots of foil detail, and there's even some glitter on some of these ones as well, which is really cool. Very so cool. different versions of uh, Groot there that I can't read properly, but yeah. they're all from the show. The uh, <laughs> the boxes are textured as well. So if we look at the um, the top, uh, uh, the the glitter one, it's actually glitter finish on, on the side of the box. Yeah, so we've got the glitter there. Ooh. And, uh, and the flocked, mm. has a flocked box as well. And Bianca Run. I was saying same before how I don't like touching some things. This is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, Going from that matte to the gloss mm, edge and then the fluff. And a little fluff action. No, it's not good. I um, like it. It's cool. But it's really cool, cool packaging. packaging. Definitely yeah. cool packaging. Um, I haven't seen that at Cosby before and I'm really psyched to see them continue that trend. Yeah, as long very as they cool. don't end up in my hands. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> we also have some Cos Babies from Love and Thunder as well. Very, very cool. So we've got uh, Lady Thor and Thor, of course, the two mainies that you absolutely need. Uh, I believe she's referred to as Mighty Thor. <laughs> uh, we've got Valkyrie as well. Um, so kind of like a well, it's not rides, is it, that they call them, Andy? Uh, so... Escapes me at the moment. Oh, uh, the Cos Riders. Yes, yeah. that's it, yes. Which, this is this is a Cos Baby. Like, it's definitely a Cos Baby because the Cos Riders are little motion, little ride-on, little things, whereas this is just incorporated um, Valkyrie's um, Pegasus into that as well. Just a standard Cos Baby, but with a Cos Rider look. <laughs> uh, we also have uh, Mighty Thor. And that's Ravager and Thor, Thor, I think. Is that him as a guardian? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Playing um, Mjolnir like a guitar as it thunders. I think you find he's shredding on his axe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? Why not? They're very it cool. Axe. It really is an axe, not a hammer, it's an axe. Wow, I just never, wow. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> levels. Uh, but very cool, like I love Cos Babies. I think they're absolutely adorable. So definitely get on those if you're into them. Get on them, they're my Hot Toys. So if you like the quality of the six scales, then check out their vinyl figures as well, because they're legit. Um, 
from McFarlane and Toys, we've got a couple of new Avatar releases. Now, this is from the original Avatar film. We have uh, Neytiri, Metkayini Reef version, and we have Tonawari, and um, we have Jake Sully uh, in Reef Battle um, as well. I think this is from the first movie. It really, I didn't like it, so I can't remember much. I saw it. Um, I remember but if you are into it, you can jump onto Pop.com and unobtaining these for yeah, your collection. That's, that's the one thing yeah, stuck in me. They're very cool, and they have um, 22 points of articulation as well, which is a lot wicked. Of articulation. It's a lot and of articulation. Um, a black light glow. More going as on with well. those figures Ooh, than there was with Which is a really, really the nice movie. touch with there. The writing of the film, in which they called the unobtainable <laughs> mineral unobtainium. Uh, my interest plummeted after that point. Why didn't even make that connection? Visually stunning, though. <laughs> oh, absolutely stunning. Uh, we've got some more action figures as well. Yeah, from uh, Hasbro. We've got um, uh, uh, from the, the Black Series uh, six inch scale collection, we have uh, 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 Grogu um, from The Mandalorian. Comes with uh, little uh, season two aspects like the frog, um, little cup, he's got his little ball um, necklace, and can? No, it's the, it's the, it's the cookie. Space cookies. Space cookies. Yeah. Uh, it's also got his cradle as well, which is cool. Yeah. We've got Close an we Imperial go. officer. Ooh, from as Andor. Well. The best thing Star Wars has ever done. <laughs> it kind of looks like he's giving you the stink eye, though, and that sculpt. I'm quite enjoying that. I'm not yeah. sure if that's intentional, but I like it. It comes with some kind of weapon also. Yeah. I've, like, I've watched the first episode of that series, and that's about it. So, yeah. so this is the Imperial officer from Phoenix, And uh, we have also an Andor. Uh, a Shore Trooper, um, uh, which first appeared in Star Wars Universe in Rogue One, and Andor is a direct prequel to that uh, film, so worth checking out uh, as well. Um, yeah, but it, again, if you haven't checked out Andor, do it. Do yourself a favor. It's incredible. It's incredible. A couple of feed pins have come in. Bianca, yeah, I'm going to let you talk about these ones because uh, it's Spider Man related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have. Um what I guess you'd call it black suit Spider-Man. That's what everyone kind of refers it to, but it's actually the innards of Spider-Man suit. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got um, a couple of Tom Holland's here. So we've got the um, Far From Home suit and the integrated suit as well. I really like the detail in these fig pins. They are super, super cool. Just really bringing the characters to life. Um, we've also got sports guys, lots of sports Tell guys. Tell me all about them. Tell me about your posters. That you have of these guys. I don't have any posters, Andy. <laughs> uh, we have this guy, this guy called um, um, Luca. Oh, geez, I don't know. Donkey, Don Donkey, Don Don yeah, Don yeah, that one, that one, that one. Uh, we've got Stephen Curry. Uh, we've got Zion Williamson and LeBron James. I know that guy. And Space Jam. That's about it from Space Jam, the terrible Space Jam. Uh, but we also have Simba from The Lion King, which I love, one of my favorite Disney movies. Nice. Um, so big pins are really, really cool. Um, you can obviously um, display them just in those cases like that. I have a Spider Gwen one on display and I love it. Um, but you can also obviously use them as pins or take them out, make a big pin display, whatever you want. Whatever They're you very want. cool, very versatile and very statement making, I think. Very cool pieces. Very in fashion. Very Vogue. Um, uh, speaking of things that are in fashion, we've shown a lot of these recent weeks, but they keep coming in, so we keep showing them. Um, they are uh, flippable retromorphin Power Rangers, um, which uh, you flip their head around, and they go from person head to, um, uh, to helmeted head, um, which is cool, I think. Mighty they Morphin are really Power Rangers. Mean. We've got, uh, we've got Zach. Quite we've literally got Morphin. Billy. We've got Kimberly. Uh, and we've got Kimberly. Kimberly uh, again. Again. Is this, this like symbiote Kimberly? <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, but two different Kimberly variants. Very cool. Uh, it is cool. And uh, if you're looking for uh, some retro figures that are a bit um, more traditional, um, well, check out these. Uh, they are three and three quarter scale G.I. Joe Cobra Troopers. Now these have a bit more articulation than they did back in the 80s, um, but uh, really, really nicely sculpted, dynamic, Figures. Um, so we have a uh, Cobra Trooper with a removable helmet and a bunch of um, accessories, a uh, little dis display stand as well, which is cool. 
Um, we have Cobra Officer, Splay Stand, removable Helmet, different weapons, essentially the same guy but just different weapons. Um, uh, and the, the metallic silver emblem on the chest. We've um, got uh, Lonzo Stalker Wilkinson. Yeah. He's, he sounds like a guy you don't really want around. He's a stalker. <laughs> And this guy too, Robert Grunt Graves. Yeah. That's two. This guy you do on around. Oh, he'll grunt, take the hit. Oh, Grunt yeah. Graves. <laughs> that's like two dire things in one sentence. Wow. You don't want him grunting. And, and those are the good guys. Yeah. And Graves <laughs> just, oh, chilling. Anyway, come with lots of accessories and stuff like that Hell too. Hell yeah, look at that packaging cool. too. It's legit. Mm. It's legit. It is very, very cool. It is legit. Uh, also, speaking of things that are legit, we've got some awesome new uh, studio Ghibli Plus should have come in. Uh, so these are officially licensed, produced in Japan. Um, we have um, uh, the cat bus from Totoro with removable Totoro Aww. that goes in the bus. That's cute. I dropped Aww. in. <laughs> no. It goes in the bus. Um, this looks like the perfect cat toy. It, it really does. Um, but Don't give that to my cat. Room for more in there as well. So you can put anything else you want in there. Hint, hint. Um, no one will ever find it. Um, there he is, cat bus, plush, really cool. Um, we've got a couple other Totoros as well. Um, we've got um, big Totoro um, with the leaf and little thingy on there. And we've got little Totoro with the, with the leaf and the medium more Totoro. Scale, <clears throat> thing there as well. And we've got a soot sprite. Yeah. I think this is the best one. It's super, super cute. I'd like the cat bus, but soot sprites are pretty adorable. Very like cool. It. And that's from Spreader Away? Yes, the, yeah. soup, yes. the little soup guys. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. Uh, last thing we've got to show you today. This is so cool. It is. The perfect Christmas gift for a Stranger Things fan. Uh, it's the ultimate pop up book. Um, now, this is legit. So, uh, it encompasses seasons one through three, I believe. Um, but there they are playing Dungeons and Dragons. And it is. Um, 360 you actually have details on all sides of this uh, it will come with extra little aspects to pop and pull and do things I'm not gonna ruin it for everyone by going through the entire thing but a um, little wanted poster there um, little extra pop-up of Bob and um, yeah cool things castle buyers oh, that's, oh, so that's, good. The page. that's the page you want that's, that's so good, good. Wow. Um, yeah. This is the perfect scary bedtime story. It is the perfect scary. I'm going to skip some so you don't. There's the. Oh, I love this one. Oh. So good. Wow. Like, like the arcade it is, there. It is named appropriately. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. They've done an incredible job to translate scenes from the um, the series in uh, 3D. I'm not going to go through all of them because I do want you to 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 enjoy it the first time yourself. When the you engineering on that thing is wild. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane. Just trying to make cool. that. And yeah, look, there's only like eight to ten scenes, but. The detail of it. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and worth going through it. You're going to find little things uh, that you haven't seen before in it every time you look, I'm sure. Yeah. Is there any zombie kittens in there? We're looking for time. We're, going we're to, doing good. Right. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing, doing all right. We're doing, doing good. Right. We, we nearly forgot about records. Yeah, I just wanted to see if we had time on it because doing good. I know you really like records. I know you really like how educated Jess is about them. I know she always brings really informative little tidbits of information and why you should get them. So get ready for none of that um, because we're just going to walk through what we've got in here um, because I didn't know what the list of it was. I had no time to repair it, so here we go. All right, so we've got Hamilton, uh, an American musical. This is the original Broadway cast recording. It is a box set. Um, I'm actually unsure how many LPs are in here, um, but uh, it is. if you're a fan of the, um, the Broadway show, then um, why not get it on vinyl in a nice, wonderfully metallic detail pa packaging yeah. box. Yeah, if you jump on onto our website, you'll be able to check, check out all the details. details. Yeah. Definitely. What else have we got? Uh, we've got Train, the Drops of Jupiter album. This <laughs> is the 20th anniversary of that album too, which is pretty, pretty so, cool. I remember Train. They had this one song and then 10 years went by and then they had like another song. Um, There's a song on one of the Spider-Man original trilogy soundtracks ooh. that I love and that's all I know about Is it on Train. this album as well? No. Wow. Um, Sorry. <laughs> but limited edition bronze colored vinyl. And if you're a fan of the song Drops of Jupiter, uh, then get it. 
Uh, we've got Weird Al Yankovic. Hey, yeah! Is that the artist from um, Garbage Gang? That's or, the one! Oh, that's awesome! So, Very the cool crack, art there. So, got a little uh, Garbage Pail Kids inspired artwork there. That's uh, so good. Ahsoka, Ahsoka um, pop star. Limited edition, bonus tracks, um, oh. record store day Black Friday release. Um, so, we landed this a little couple of days after Black Friday, but it's online now. You can add it to your collection. Let's take a look at the back of this. Uh, Bunch of cool things. Uh, you got live bonus tracks. You got beat on the brat. Yes. I want to be sedated. Um, yeah, some nice little um, covers there as well, which is cool. Uh, yep, I know no nothing Rizza. about this. <laughs> um, Absolutely Wu nothing. Uh, as Bobby Digital in Digital Bullet, um, a record store like Black Friday release, pressed unlimited clear yellow vinyl. Uh, it's back in print after two decades. So. You missed it when it was originally released. It's the first time since then you can actually get it on vinyl. So worth grabbing uh, for your collection. Um, what else? Did we go through this one? Celia Green, we did not. So okay. we got the Lady Killer from Celia Green. Uh, vinyl debut for a modern soul classic featuring the hit. <clears throat> um, uh, it's hot pink pressing. <laughs> <laughs> that caught my attention. That's pretty cool. Uh, just take Very note proud. of that. Parental advisory. Explicit <laughs> content warning. Oh, um, look out. Really legit. We did uh, We did that one. <laughs> Fleetwood Mac Rumors. Iconic album. Um, two LP. Um, it's the number one album, 1977. Uh, it's an incredible album. It's a must have for any vinyl collection. Uh, it's got Dreams on it. It's got Go Your Own Way. Uh, it's got The Chain. Um, Gold Dust Woman. It's Great question. Just a must have. What's what's the little two objects that are uh, dangling down there? There's just he's just got a little um, garnishing on his belt, which is the style at the time. Um, sure. Got a couple onions. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just a couple uh, of onions. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of danglers. Um, I I mean it. Like if you don't have this in your record collection, then you know, get it because it's a must have, and you're never going to regret it. Get this one. You won't regret this. Cindy Lauper. Merry Christmas, have a nice life. Cindy's irresistible 1998 Christmas album in a beautiful gatefold packaging. Uh, features a clear with red and white swirl candy cane vinyl pressing. Um, oh, Cindy. And I, I'm psyched about this one because yeah. this is the score of Scream 1, Scream 2, Scream 3, and Scream 4 uh, in one awesome 4LP box set. Um, includes two hours of previously unreleased music, so they've uh, recorded a bunch of stuff for the film, never put it out before. First time you can actually get it is here on vinyl. Uh, die, card, uh, die cut package expands uh, into a poster of a three foot high uh, ghost face base. Um, Which is super cool. So, yeah. All four of the original movies, definitely worth getting. Score by. Uh, Marco Beltrami. Um, I'm a big fan of the original Scream. Um, it is good. I'm a big fan of Scream 2 for what it did as a parody of a satirical take on sequels of films like Scream. Scream is essentially just a satire of Halloween, and then they write a scary movie with, which is a parody of satire. Which is cool. Layers. Yes. Like onions, which you wear on your belt. Jeez. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Anyway, that's all we've got to show you this week. Um, let's spin for some prizes, shall Ooh. we? Uh, what are we going to spin for first? Um, let's spin for the, the, the Bruce backpack. Oh, right. Bruce <laughs> backpack um, from the deep. People want to get loose. Losey with the Brucey. Can you stop saying that? No, I can't. It's <laughs> it rhymes. Bruce. It's just a good rhyme. Lucy Brucey. Yep. Oh. Uh, and congratulations, Michelle Ross. Uh, we've got Bruce coming your way. Just send us a private message on Facebook, please, with your name, postal information, and email address. Yeah, everything gonna look pretty Bruce with that Bruce on your back. Yes, you would. Uh, everything you want on an online order, just send us that info and we'll get it your way. Let's spin next for Dolph Starbeam, a culture exclusive released this past week uh, in uh, for the 2022 Winter Convention. Uh, let's spin, see who's gonna win. Uh, Christy Logger. Logger, congratulations. Uh, you've won Dolph, uh, which is cool. Yes. Uh, Dolph's a cool guy. 
Um, I mean, he's a bully, but he's a cool guy. He's a cool, he was the coolest bully. <laughs> um, he just went along with it. Um, anyway, uh, send us a private message, please, on Facebook with your name, post information, and email address. We'll get that sent out. And uh, we're going to spin next for Val Sartha from Star Wars Andor. The best thing Star Wars ever done. Again, I can't press enough that you need to watch Andor. It's incredible. Uh, and I'm going to spin, and if it lands on somebody who's already won, we're going to spin again because everyone really only wins one prize per week mm-hmm. at max. So that's how we do it. Mm-hmm. Lily Parker, congratulations. Um, you're going to have to check out Andor if you haven't already. Again, I recommend everyone do, but Lily, you in particular, because you're getting the Bell Star the Pop coming your way. Please just send us a private message on Facebook with your name, postal information, and email address. We'll get that sent out. We're going to spin. One last time this week. <gasps> oh, what's and it going to be we though? We are going to spin the coffin for the Blink 182. Oh, Ooh. really? <laughs> That's awesome. Um, album. And we're the state. It's coming your way. Uh, so let's spin. See so who's going to win. Wow. Jane uh, Wright. Jane Wright. Congratulations. <laughs> Gonna have to fix that because things falling apart on us. Um, you've won the Edinburgh the State uh, Deluxe Pop album. Please just send us a private message on Facebook with your name, postal information, and email address, and we will get that sent out your way. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. If you do have an order with us, uh, we are tracking a little bit behind, but we are working long, long hours um, in the next few weeks to make sure every order gets sent out into the post as soon as possible. Um, we appreciate your patience with it. Funko sale was uh, was a ma- massive success and we had just had the winter convention drop. So we've got a bit of a backlog, but we're powering through it and uh, everyone should receive a shipping notification next week. Um, until then, thanks for watching. Uh, it's been a week in review here at Pop Culture. I'm Andy Sipianka. Uh, we've got Luke and Steph behind the camera. We'll catch you next week for another exciting episode. See you then.